Hey, so today I thought I was going to share with you trying out a new product. Uh, I recently got these new watercolour pencils um, from Nuro. Um, and they are hair and skin tones and they are tonic and tonic is from the UK, Tonic Studio. So I got these and um, from scrapbook.com and I also got this gold sparkle shimmer powder mm. so i thought it was going to be really fun just to try them out and uh yeah it's been uh, i don't really usually uh, i don't usually work with watercolor pencils i've never tried um a shimmer powder before so i thought it would be really fun so i'm going to try them out see how it goes uh working in the Ar artisa watercolor journal and yeah let's see how it goes Okay, so let's get started. I have here the Nuvo set, Hair and Skin Tones, highly pigmented watercolour pencils contain 12 pencils. Um, yeah, so recently I ordered the pencils from scrapbook.com, that is in the US, I live in Sweden, and um, while I was there ordering the set, I thought, um, because it's quite a lot of shipping cost, so I was like, well, while I'm here, I might as well get a few extra stuff. These are two of those extra stuff that I've been wanting to try but yeah I haven't before now. So I decided to get these Nuvo pencils and also some Nuvo shimmer powder. Now these are a curated set especially for hair and skin tones and I thought it was going to be really fun to try them out. I really like earth tones, I paint a lot of animals and nature scenes. Um, so I thought I was going to get a really good use out of these. Now I don't use a lot of watercolour pencils, I have a few that are like ink tens and graphite tens, but straight up watercolour pencils I hardly ever use, so I thought it could be really fun to try them out. Um, I am in the Artista journal, just bearing that in mind, um, I am working on the texture side on both, on, on the spread sort of thing. Um, just to keep that in mind while I'm going through. Now I thought while I'm going to try these out I'm going to choose a motif that is um, closer to what I'm usually painting so I don't need to think too much about that. So I made this uh, Vincent, uh, Vincent, sorry. <laughs> Vincent which is like a, a bison, um, they are sort of related I think, uh, but these are from Europe. So we have them in the zoo in our town. We have a really, really good and uh, pretty zoo here. And um, so I've been there a few times this summer. And uh, they have this big like hill in the in the space that the Vincent are Vincent that they are in, and they tend to stand on it. And I thought it was really fun. I had some good photos, and decided to paint just the uh, Vincent on that. And then using the shimmer powder to add like a gold in it. Um, so that is the sort of idea that I wanted to try out. And I thought it was going to be really great because I could use a lot of these tones to paint um, the Vincent. So I started out sketching with the lightest colour in this set. Um, that is uh, one of the lightest I should say. It's a wild mushroom and it's a really nice warm grey very very nice um, and then I'm going in here with Heather Dash Dusk and those two colours are grey in this set and might be a bit odd and a bit boring if you just like look at the set but I think these are two of the most beautiful colours in the set. Um, this set I would describe as the pencils are creamy and rich in colour. They are highly pigmented However, I would say, like, the lightest, lightest tone in this set is a colour that is Ivy Rose, that is a very light pink, and I think that is supposed to be, uh, I'm doing quotation here, <laughs> I think that is supposed to be, like, a white skin tone, and I, in the beginning of the clip where I sort of had swatched them out and then used water to activate them, I could hardly see this um, colour on the page before or after using the water and I feel like that, 
that color could have been swapped out for something more for like an olive skin tone uh, or have a little bit of a, like a colder undertone because I feel like just looking over these that the colors that are supposed to be skin tones they are having a, a pretty warm undertone and I think it would be really nice to have something that is a bit more um, having a bit a deeper browner but it have a little bit of like a green undertone um, that is something I am missing here because I feel like there's a big gap between the light and the dark now of course you can layer these pencils just like watercolor um, and I think you can get pretty much every skin tone that you want but I feel like that ivory rose on white paper which is what typically what you use when you use watercolor pencils I feel like it's completely unnecessary and that was quite dry and not very pigmented so that is just my opinion however the darker colors um, IT Pinot Noir and Rose Chestnut are beautiful they are very very beautiful very pigmented and those are the colors that I use mostly here I just find them so so amazing and I those are the colors that I would consider uh, that actually inspires me to paint uh, like a, a face or a portrait just because they are so pigmented and so so vibrant um, so here you can see the uh, roasted chestnut and it is it is lovely uh, very very pretty so yeah um, I think that is about my opinions about the effect I think the colors are very nice they're really nice to work with the layers really nicely um, easy to activate you still get a bit of that streaking and I am a bit too minded about it uh, I would really like them to be that soft that they just blend out perfectly on the other hand there are still pencils and the pencil has a texture and that could be a bit fun but yeah and then you need to take into consideration like I said before this is Artisa paper it is not my favorite paper this um, this journal is a gray cloth bound cloth covered journal and I don't have any high opinions about these journals uh, I am on my second one now because they come in a pack of two so I just want to use them up I don't think they're very good that is my opinion about them and um, that is also why I think this did not turn out as I had imagined or as good as I think these pencils can be because the paper couldn't handle it um, but yeah so on this paper they are not to their best advantage I would say but I will also like to point out that they are really nice pencils. I have used them on other papers um, and they are very nice. They come in, um, in a silver metal-y case. It has the logo of New World embossed on the cover. It has a little strip on the side saying uh, hair and skin tones, highly pigmented watercolor pencils. There is a bit of a swatch so you can easily see what colors you have in here. On the back you have some information uh, about the pencils and their vibrant colors. It also has swatches down here with the names underneath. The color, the pencils themselves have uh, the, the top of them, uh, the colors and then the name. Now the other thing I got, you can see here, is the Nouveau uh, Shimmer Powder. And I got this one in Golden Sparkle and I thought this is going to be so fun to try out. I have never tried out anything like it. I have seen them on a few videos and I'm like, I really need to give this a go. Um, so yeah, so I decided to do my hill so it looks like they're standing on like a, a hill of gold or I don't know, something like that. Um, so this is from Nuvo 2 and um, create beautiful metallic color bursts, it said. So what I'm going to do, because I know they are water reactive. I'm going to wet the area that I want my my gold sand hill to be, <laughs> and then I'm just going to lay this paper towel uh, over uh, these ones so that they won't get covered because I just want the hill to be easy. Um, now, like I said, I have seen other people using, uh, if not this specific, well, this specific 
powder. I have seen them using similar uh, shimmer powders or powders that are reactive with water. Um, so I knew a little bit what to expect, but when you see when you see it like in person, it is a bit muddy. So here you can see coming out, it looks very dull, goldy, and then once the pigments start to come in contact with the water and start to react, it is just so fun. And it's so hard to stop. You just want to keep on going. But I feel like this is a product that is less is more. The less you use, the more space the powder has to spread out and to really, uh, to really work. And I think it's really, really great fun. Uh, I'm using some water here to add more. And once again, I just feel like I have to mention that the paper in these journals were not the greatest. It didn't. It doesn't take the water in a very great way. I find. Um, so. If it looks a bit dull and unimpressive, I feel like it's not the product because the product is really great, but I feel like it is the paper that can't handle it. Uh, but it's really fun. You get a lot of shift in tones. If you want just like gold, I think you could like mix it with water to get like a one tone of the color. But what I find it so fun with this is that you don't have one tone of color. You have so many different shifts. You can't control it. And it's all very mysterious and how it happens and very random everything. So I think that is really fun. And I would really like to try this one out in different colours. Um, I think like green would be really, really fun to get some really intense um, leafy backgrounds or um, having some in like uh, lilac or pinky colours mixed with flowers. I think you can do a lot with these and I think it would be really fun uh, for these kind of journal spreads when you want to have some fun backgrounds but in a very artistic, spontaneous way. <laughs> so yeah, I had a lot of fun playing with these two new products to me anyway. Uh, as of now, I don't have any plans to go out and get more pencils or get more shimmer powders. But I had a really, really great time playing with them. Um, and uh, I think it's really fun to sometimes just get a few new stuff if you can um, and challenge yourself. I mean, some get subscription boxes um, and uh, I feel like that is really fun. But sometimes I'm like, yeah, but I really don't want to play with X, Y, or Z. But I would really like to try this or just like go around in your classroom or at your desk and like put together stuff that you wouldn't normally do just to give that challenge so yeah but i'm really happy to have these pens i think i will get some some more use out of them the colors are really nice um the powder i don't think i will be using it every day or every week even but i think it's a really fun thing to have and to play with so yeah um that is about about that. <laughs> I also tried using the pencils, just dipping them into water, and that was really fun too. You get a bit more like paint effect, um, which is really fun. So yeah, I look forward to playing with these a bit more and see if I might like um, using watercolor pencils more in my work. Um, but yeah. I mean, right now I use quite a lot of watercolor and then go on top with regular pencils. But yeah, why not use some more watercolor pencils? Maybe. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun using them and trying them out. Um, you hope I hope you have liked this video. And if you have, please uh, click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, yeah, right now there is some uh, paintings coming, some studio vlogs, yeah, and if you are interested in using the travel brush that I used in the beginning of the video, you can find a link to that one back down below in my little Etsy shop. If you want to get some handmade watercolors, you can find those below too. Um, and uh, if not, I hope you have a really great day um, and a great tomorrow too. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is my artwork 
I'm very happy with it considering that your paper couldn't really make the colors shine and I was a bit overworked in the end but I feel like it was really fun to play with them and this powder is very very shimmery so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope to see you soon and until then have a great day